we're going to look at the Martinez equations. We have done Martinez equations in grade 10, but in grade 10, both of them were linear. So in grade 11, we have one linear and one quadratic. Martinez equation, we have two unknowns, x and y, and two equations. So we're going to use one equation, both equations to solve for two unknowns. The first thing, take the linear one and solve for the easier variable. In this case, the x is easier. So we're going to have x is equals to 1 minus 2y. After doing that, take the, the x value, substitute in the complicated equation. Please don't substitute in the, in the first equation. It is the same equation. So we're going to substitute for x. Where there is x, we're going to write 1 minus 2y. So I'm going to have 1 minus 2y squared plus y squared plus 3 into 1 minus 2y, y at y, plus y is equal to 0. Right. Now we're going to do the square binomial. If you're doing two brackets, it's going to be complicated. If you can't do square binomial, look at our videos. You'll find one. First times first, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times minus 2 times 2, we get minus 4 y and the negative time negative positive 2 times 2 4 y times y y squared then you add that y squared now in this case we have two factors we have a 3 multiplying the bracket and a y multiplying the bracket for most learners if you do everything at once they make mistakes so let's start by multiplying with a 3 first so we're going to keep the bracket go 3 times 1 3 3 times minus 6 2 minus 6 y then we get the y that y. Then we're going to multiply with a y next. 1 minus 4y plus 4y squared plus y squared. Then y times 3. We're going to get the 3y. Then y. Then get minus 6y squared. Then plus y squared to 0. Now we're going to collect like terms. 4y squared y squared and minus 6y. Then we get minus y squared. Then we get two y's. Minus 4y, 3y, and a y. So these ones will cancel out. That and that is positive 4y. That's negative 4y. They will cancel out. And then the term that we are left with, it's plus 1. This plus 2, 0. There are two ways you can do this. You can find the difference of two squares or you can take this and square it. I choose to find the difference of two squares. So I will have um, 1 and 1 plus and minus y and y. So here I'll have y is equals to minus 1 or y is equals to 1 for this bracket. Right. Now I have y values. If I have y values, I need to go back to the equation and find the x values. x is equal to 1 minus 2. My y is minus 1. So when I multiply minus minus, I get a plus 2. Then my answer is 3. So when I'm writing the coordinate, the first coordinate is x. x is 3 when y is minus 1. Then I do the other one x is equals to 1 minus 2 my 1 my y is 1 now so my answer will be minus 1 when x is minus 1 y is 1 so this is not a difficult section unfortunately it counts a lot of marks so grade 11 practice 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 and get all either in some question papers is 5 marks in some question papers is 6 marks it's 6 marks that you can actually get thank you for watching if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe.